That was wait a, wait a minute. Wait a second. It's two ways going back and forth once again. And wait a minute. Wait a hit. Wait a second here. DX Factor. Well, that's what she wants to call it. I know it's a ripoff, but that's what she got. It's called DX Factor. Wait a minute. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Scully, I knew this wasn't over by a long shot. Now, this match has been drawn out the window. I know we didn't hear the bell, but the ref is about my announce table calling this match off. Damn, now these matches are no contest. Bad luck for Rita X. Damn you. Ugh. I mean, I tell you, those redheads. Wait, wait a second. Look at Catwoman. She's not doing anything about it. Okay, we just leaving the ring. I thought Catwoman was a. Like. I had good morals. Well, she is a super villain in the Batman series, but. But seriously, what the hell? Uh, now, Scully just taking care of Rita X here. Okay, ref, what the hell are you doing? You hide or something? I you gonna go for a pin when this is not even a match? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, but here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The X Fact, I mean, the X Filer. Well, they got something in common. Both their names start with, both their finishing names start with X. You know, Scully has the steel steps. Oh boy, I smell bad intentions. If you wonder what that smell is. Oh boy. But, wait a minute here. Rita X back to her feet. Oh, but Scully quickly goes, goes back to her game. I mean, Rita X is just too weak. After that great match with Catwoman, she's about to win the title, but... Oh, bad break. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Just smack, just smack the hell out of Rita X with those still steps. You gotta be, ugh. This, this has to be settled somehow. I don't know how, but it has to be settled. Oh boy, uh, April O'Neil saying the wrong, wrong words to Xena. Now Xena's taking care of me. Just speared April O'Neil in half. Well, she does kind of have a point. Xena was supposed to be a force to be reckoned with, but hasn't won a match since. I mean, she lost to Zack the Black Ranger, she lost to Catwoman, and she did it to achieve the win the UWL Women's Championship at Pickle-Rama. Now has April O'Neil up a running power slam on the concrete of all things. Oh boy, not this. Not this. Not on the concrete, no. Ah, oh, the warrior princess drop. Just near the warrior princess drop onto O'Neal. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting to say the least. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, our next making event slash CPV is gonna be entitled Summer Tournament. It's going to be coming soon this summer. I don't know when, but it will be coming. Trust me on that. It's going to be one hell of the event, so stay tuned for that. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Our, your main event of the evening, evening is the Best of Three series. Bret Hart leads this series 1-0. to zero. They had a great match at UWL Slamboree. Both these guys know each other very well, surprisingly, counting each other's moves in unique ways. You should have saw the seeing the ending of that match. Huh <laughs> damn, that was amazing. But there's no doubt these two, you put these two in the ring together, they're gonna have an amazing match. It's just academic. No questions about it. And I expect a great match out of these two tonight also. And who will win this championship? I have no idea. These two 
are very great athletes. Now, Bret Hart awaits his opponent, the respected opponent, the phenomenal AJ Styles. But here comes the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles making his mark here in EWO. I know he's doing his thing in TNA, but he's he's put some great matches here. He had a great, I would say that was like a four-star match that had a UWO slamboree. So that's definitely a match of the year candidate for UWO. I, I gotta hand it to him. They're helping this company one by one, bit by bit, and little by little. These two are ready to have this matchup. And I can't wait to these two knock arms. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This match is about to begin in a few moments. These two just staring a hole in each other. And the ref, Nick Patrick, rings the bell. Here we go. These two just staring eyes on each other, trying to intimidate each other down here. Who's going to get the move in first? Wait a minute, AJ was going for something, but Brett counters. These two circling again, trying to size each other up, trying to find an opening. These two just stalling here. Wait, Brett tried to get something in, but AJ saw that coming. These two know each other very well in a short amount of time. The first time fighting was at UW Slamboree of all things, but it looks to appear, but wait a minute. AJ with the first move. AJ with a headlight takedown. It was simple but effective. And again with another headlight takedown there. Uh, just driving that knee into the forehead of, a of Bret Hart. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did he just nail a stand up, uh, a laying down haircut, Rana? See, that's why they call him phenomenal. Here we go. AJ with a sorpa, uh, stretch. I mean, that's, that was that was a bow and arrow. But Bret Hart counters, flipping AJ over his head. Bret Hart, known for his various unique counters, he could escape any move at any time. That's his specialty. Very nice snap mare there. Now, Bret Hart, what's this? Dragon Sleeper. Dragon Sleeper applied onto AJ Styles. Will AJ Styles get out of it? And he does. Breaks free, pushes Bret off, and nails him with a chop. Now AJ must still uh, appear going after Bret Hart's legs. I'm not sure AJ has a submission hold that is a leg finisher. What's this? Oh man, very nice. He just did a leg drop from Bret Hart's legs onto Bret Hart's neck. That's very impressive right there. Now AJ once again working on the legs of Bret Hart. I just don't know AJ's strategy here. He's going for the lace, but I'm not sure he has a submission hold to make Bret Hart tap out. Or AJ could apply the sharpshooter himself if he knows how to do it. Well, what am I talking about? Of course he knows how to do it. He's phenomenal. On oh, another, another headlock takedown there. AJ seems to be successful with those headlocks. He should be still. He should keep doing it. Now he's back to that bow and arrow, but Bret Hart once again. In the same time, reverses that bow and arrow and nails a drop kick onto AJ straight up upon his face. Now we're back again to this dragon sleeper, Jay's Deja Vu. That's it, yeah, yep, this is definitely Deja Vu. Brett, uh, AJ countering back again. Now these two just staring a hole in each other. Now, he, now these two are pissed. They want to win this match badly. AJ is especially. Brett has nothing to lose, but AJ has everything to lose. He has to win this match or this series is over, and Bret Hart will be your new UWO Melee Champion. And Bret Hart counters, AJ counters back, and again with that headlock takedown. See, that headlock takedown is working for AJ. He should keep on doing it and maybe wear down Bret Hart in that big time clothesline there by AJ. And AJ sending Bret Hart into the corner once again here. What can he be looking forward to doing? Go for the coastline? No! 